Hello YouTubers, 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee and we have check engine light on so let's check those out you're watching this do it yourself channel and please feel free to check the links in the description to the video for all parts and tools including this fantastic scanner that we have so we have P0441 operating emission purge system performance. So it doesn't tell us much what's wrong with that. Um, so we will go a few different avenues to test. Alright, so we have removed the engine cover already. You just pull it up. There are four, one, two, three, four studs. Uh, so it seems like the Purge valve solenoid is just over here. So what it does, it opens, uh, it opens the airway uh, to the intake manifold. So it starts sucking vapors out of the fuel tank into the intake. Um, the main purpose for that is emissions. So your vapors don't get into the atmosphere; they actually get burned, and also it increases the fuel efficiency. I'm pretty sure that this is the, the valve. Um, so let's take a look at the scanner and run some tests. So within the live test, active tests, we have a duty cycle per solenoid. Do you want a data stream? Yes, I would like to see the, actually, if possible, uh, fuel tank pressure to see if we're creating a vacuum in it. So we'll select purge duty cycle, purge air, airflow, purge mode. Mm. Here are a few interesting one: fuel tank vapor volume. Another one is e seam switch. So e seam switch is. Uh, like a van 12 best to my knowledge that is very close to the tank so in this eSIM switch or eSIM module could be causing this uh, issue too so you want to see how that function and here is the fuel tank pressure probably the most important one all right i think we have selected everything we need so we will click ok and we will start the engine. So you can see right now with the engine off, eSIM switch is open, that's normal position. Fuel tank pressure zero Pascal. Purge air flow zero zero. So that all makes sense for now. Alright, now the engine is running. So we can see that fuel pressure tank is under negative pressure right now. We'll let it run, see how much it goes, because it is expected to be vacuuming a bit. And vapor volume 27 liters, purge duty cycle, purge mode off, so 45 Pascal which is a really small vacuum, but there is a bit. So we will put the purge mode when to learn. And you can see right now it's purging. So the pressure went down to 800 minus 800 Pascal. So purge duty cycle, and you can see how this click. Hopefully you can hear that. I'm just doing this tick 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 tick. So 15%, and let's see. You can see how the pressure goes down. So it means that our purge solenoid is working. So we are at 18% purging and flow 0.15 so we are almost minus 2000 pascals so let's increase the perch to 30 
And we will watch the pressure. Test aborted condition not correct. So, and you can see that eSIM switch went into the closed position. Which is expected. So, so far everything looks good. Like we have first duty cycle 18%. We have negative pressure in the tank, which means that it's working and eSIM switch is closed, which is supposed to do it under the vacuum, I think, at one bar uh, of vacuum it's supposed to close. So from this point of view, there could be two things that potentially cause an intermittent issue is the eSIM switch or the purge valve solenoid and based on my research eSIM switch uh, seems to be causing lots of issues so most likely that we will replace eSIM see how, how it behaves and potentially if that doesn't fix our issue we might need to replace the actual first solenoid another thing that we can do we can do a smoke test to see if there are any leaks in the system and I think that's what we will do just to eliminate that aspect of the vacuum leak somewhere in between the houses maybe fuel cap so let's do that all right so I have my smoke machine hooked up now we need to disconnect the hose that comes from the tank and to do that we need to try this out a bit mm, basically try, try this clip up all right not 100% sure if this is the right way to do it but I had to remove this clip and this also is loose so now you can just disconnect it and this sit just on the rubber bushing like that so now we can connect our smoke machine inside and get it get it started So now that vent valve is open, it's uh, normal condition. So we want to also watch the gauge, we don't want to put too much pressure, but since that valve is open, you should start seeing smoke coming out of the vent valve. Okay, let me show you where the, the PC unit is. So this is passenger side, rear fender. And this is your canister. And this is your eSIM unit. So, soon enough, oh, you can probably see now the smoke coming. So basically, the, since it's open, it's in normal condition, it pushes the smoke to this uh, vapor evap valve. No. So to test the system, I don't think there is the way to electronically close this. So we will remove this hose at the top and we'll get it plugged. So with the hose removed, you can clearly see where that smoke is coming from. So we'll just get this plugged and we'll check for any leaks. So since our 
well is plugged, you want to watch that pressure gauge. Shouldn't go more than 15 psi. So we will decrease this airflow. And you can see that we got like a tiny leak over there. But now I want to see around the tank. So I plugged that well with the piece of plastic. And now we want to see if there is any potential leak in the system around the tank, around the fill cap. So we'll just go with the flashlight and check for any smoke coming out. All right, after running the smoke machine for a while, I can hear the whistle and noise under the cap and also smoke coming out from the cap. So it seems like the cap is not holding. So we'll try to replace that and see if it fixes our issue. All right, so after running, my smoke machine for a while, I could have, I could see smoke coming from the gas cap, but that was expected because the pressure went about 2 psi, and then it started to end. Other than that, like I checked, all the lines, all the hoses, there was no leaks. So at this point, I want to say that you will need to replace this eSIM or plant well before we go and replace the purge uh, solenoid valve because that one seems to be working properly those things are known to be failing quite frequently and it's not too expensive so we will start with that other than that thanks for watching guys please stay tuned and as always just do it yourself